I never was going to be a teacher. If you would have told me seven years ago I was going to be an educator, I would have laughed. The world makes you believe that those who can't teach. So having a degree in biology and chemistry, I literally had a professor look at me and tell me I was wasting my potential going into education. I'm a teacher by trade, but I look at myself as my job is to prepare the whole student for the world that's waiting for them. In hiring my first round of teachers, I was looking for teachers who were innovative, energetic. Um, they were going to create a culture that kids wanted to come to. So I interviewed Erin and I knew right away that she was the kind of teacher that I wanted to have at my new school. If anybody meets Erin, she just is infectious, her personality to start with, and her passion for teaching. Even as an adult, you might think back to teachers who made an impression on you um, when you were in high school. Erin Lawrence is that teacher. She doesn't teach STEM in isolation. She relates STEM to other disciplines. That interdisciplinary approach makes the science and math um, more relevant to the kids because they don't see it as a separate subject. They get to see science and math integrated into the real world. How I make STEM education relevant is bringing the community in, taking the students out to the community, and when I can't do that, providing real world examples of how this applies to their life. When we do our lithosphere unit in earth science, um, the question is how can you create an earthquake resistant building? We are having flipped lecture videos where they're learning the content at home. They're coming in and applying it in labs. They're going to construction sites to see what's going on and how you build. And they're using all of that to design an earthquake resistant building, testing it on a shake table and then getting in the in front of a panel of engineers who this is what they do for a living to support their designs. To see these high school kids explaining these really complicated processes and getting feedback from real world people is, is incredible. We have days with projects literally I tell them today is fail day. You will fail today but what you won't do is not learn from your failure. Some days are really hard. <laughs> some days are very discouraging. I mean, there's some days things will happen and I'll walk in the next day and be like, we're gonna pretend like yesterday didn't happen. <laughs> you know, you maybe teach something wrong or you're frustrated, they're frustrated, you just don't drive. But those days when it clicks, those days when you hear the students say, wow, this is really real world and you've never used that term in your class, that's what drives me, that's what keeps me moving forward. She's a fantastic, phenomenal teacher. You know, and I'm like so blessed and lucky to work with her. And these kids are so blessed to have her as an educator. I mean, I get like teary eyed just thinking about it because she's so inspiring, really, at the end of the day. She's just somebody that inspires her students.